Today we're going to be learning about circuits. There are lots of different kinds of circuits. A simple circuit consists of a power source and a path for the electricity to go through and the electricity needs a job to do, which is called an output. A parallel circuit has multiple outputs. The electricity is divided amongst those outputs. When we add a switch to a simple circuit, we're just adding the ability to open and close that circuit. A switch is opening the circuit to turn the output off and closing the circuit, allowing the electricity to flow through in the circle to turn the output on. So today we're gonna build a simple circuit. We're gonna be using a wire stripper. It has two parts. It has a wire cutter part down here and this is the wire stripper part. That's the part we're gonna focus on. So how it works is we're gonna take our wire from our LED, we're gonna do one at a time and you're gonna stick your wire in the mouth, I call this the dinosaur, in the mouth of the dinosaur and then you squeeze it halfway down. Then you're gonna squeeze it all the way down and what it does is it moves the wire, moves the plastic off the wire. We're just gonna pull that part off and then twist these together with our hand. And you're gonna do that to both the black wire and the red wire. Sometimes I twist it and pull it at the same time. So that way you have your wire stripped. So now I'm gonna be putting my circuit together using a temporary con connection and that's called a push connector and you put your wire into the end of it and then it will hold on when you open up your hand so you always want to test a little bit so i'm going to put the black wire in one side and then i want to go to the other side of the push connector and i'm going to put my wire in the other side so I'm gonna make sure that I take my black wire, I'm gonna go on the other side of the push connector, I push it down, and then I'm gonna stick my wire in, and when it's in further, far enough, I'm gonna let go, and then I give it a tiny tug to make sure that it's in. So it goes black wire, push connector, and then the black wire. Now I'm gonna do the same for the red wire. And there we go. So now we have our complete circuit. The electricity is flowing from the power source through the red wire, the positive wire, doing its job and flowing back through the negative wire, the black wire. So we just made our temporary connection with the push connectors. That would be a really great thing for a prototype. Once we decide that we're gonna use this circuit how it is, we're gonna do a more permanent or a more secure connection. I'm gonna take two heat shrink tubes and I'm gonna put these tubes on each of the wires. Sometimes they might need to be twisted up again. So I'm, I'm doing this on the power source. I'm gonna go ahead and put both of them on, one on the red and one on the black, and then I'm gonna forget about it for a second. So the next part that we're gonna do is we're going to be connecting our wires. So it's real important that we make sure they are twisted because the wires are actually a lot of little wires together. I'm gonna to keep twisting them. And then I'm gonna go from red, and I'm gonna connect the red wire to the red wire. I'm gonna do that by making an X. And then I'm gonna grab the top and I'm gonna twist and pinch. I'm pinching and twisting. And when you think you've done it enough, do it like three or four more times. And then we're gonna test, give it a little tug. We don't have to pull too hard to see if you have it twisted enough. But then I'm ready to do my black wires. Again, I'm gonna make a V or an X. And I'm taking the top, I'm twisting and pinching at the same time. I'm gonna keep doing it I think it's secure and if I pull on it and it starts to come undone I've got to go a little bit more now we are going we are almost ready to do the heat gun so I'm going to pull the heat shrink on top so it's going to cover up what I just did it's going to go on top and now we are ready to set up for our 
heat shrink. This is a heat gun, goes on and off right here. And it works like a hair dryer, but it is not a hair dryer. Do not aim it toward yourself, toward your face, or toward your hands. Keep it aimed at your heat shrink. You only need to keep it about this close. And we're gonna go back and forth on each one for about 20 seconds. And the heat shrink is going to shrink. We wanna make sure that you do not touch it for 20 seconds after you're done. I'm gonna go ahead and start. I put this tool over here because it can't get burned and my hands can get burned. So I put this here because it was starting to move around and I didn't like that. We want to make sure we wait 20 seconds before we touch it. So it's been about 20 seconds, so now I can touch it and pick it up. I always like to give everything an extra tug. So now I'm gonna take my batteries and put them back in. And we have our circuit working again. So we just completed our heat shrunk simple circuit. We have our power source. We have the wires that have a secure connection on them and our output, which is our LED. And you could use lots of things for your output. You could use a motor, think about different outputs that you would want or how you could use an LED in all your different inventions.